All right, so I'm going to do a quick video here on how to find a percent of a number. So let's say we want to find 15% of a number. Okay. How I would do this is, this is the first way I would do it. I'd convert 15% into a decimal place. So as we learned before, 15 divided by 100 will give you my decimal place number. Then I'm going to multiply that decimal place, 0, 0 0.15 times 50. So 7.5 is 15% of 100. Okay, That's my number one way to do it. But if you want to do it in your head, you could also do this. And I apologize, my daughter's working on the computer in the background. Now we could think of what's 10% of 50. Now if we remember, if we think about it, to find 10%, we're going to divide by 10, so we're just going to move the decimal place over 1, so that would equal 5 out of 50. Okay, so 10% is 5, right? 10% equals 5. So we need 15%, so we need another 5%. So we just cut this number in half, which would be equal to 2.5, so we go... 5 plus 2.5 equals 7.5, which is nice when you have round numbers like that. So let's do an odd one. Let's go 32% of 480, whatever number I just pressed in. So first thing I do, 32 divided by 100 equals that number. And then I'm going to go that number times 435. And there's my number. All right, another one we could do, let's do like 6%. Because, well, let's do this first. Let's go 13% as a decimal place, right? 13% of, let's just run 74. So we're, if you see the pattern here, we're gonna, the decimal place moves over two spots, right? So logically, we know this is gonna be 0.13, but let's just go through it real quick. 13 divided by 100 equals 0.13. 0.13 times 74 equals 9.62. Now, one we can figure out, though, is what's 4% of this number. Okay. We have to remember when we look at it, we can do it in our head real quick, but it's not going to be 0.4 because the decimal place has to move two spots. Okay. So it's going to be actually be a little bit bigger. So let's do the math of it. So the 0 0.04 is going to be a number. Then it goes 0 0.04 times 548 equals that number. So that's how we find a percent of a number. If we wanted to take it down to steps, step one, divide percent by 100. Step two would be multiply. That's a horrible spelling. Daddy. One second, Kaylee. Multiply the result by the number. Okay. So if we took a look here, this would be step one. And this would be step two. Okay. There we go.